Hey guys, so I've taken this look from the fall 2009 fashion show from Jeremy Scott. Now this designer is is very, very um, colorful. He goes all the way. Um, I see kind of, I don't know if pop art is, inspir is um, one of his biggest inspiration, but I definitely see that reflection in his clothes. Um, Big names like Lady Gaga, Rihanna have worn his designs. So I've taken this look from um, one of his latest shows and to learn how to do it. So we're tuned. going to start off by priming our eyes. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And you want to apply that <clears throat> onto the list apply just apply a thin coat you don't need a lot with this product just like that then you want to apply a matte white i'm going to use gesso by mac cosmetics and i'm going to apply that with the two, 239 brush and you want to apply that on your lid then i'm going to go in with kind of a silverish gray this one is called scene from MAC and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to apply it. This one is a 224 and this is where we're going to create the drama. So it starts from the bridge of the nose then you want to go just above your crease then follow your crease a little bit then bring it up. Now I'm going to take another fluffy brush but as you can see this one is way more pointier. This one is a 226 from MAC. We're still using the same color but this time we're going on the inside starting from the center of your lower lash line and you want to drag a color and connect it with the bottom the upper line sorry going back in with my big fluffy brush making sure there's no excess and just bl blending the bottom lash line a little bit now we want to make that color a little bit more darker so I'm going with carbon which is a matte black I'm going in with the same big fluffy brush and you want to trace over that color we previously applied just to darken up the color. Now with the fluffy brush you want to apply the carbon in your crease. Just to create a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to take my pointy or fluffy brush, take some more carbon, put it as close as to the lash line as possible. But only in the outer corner. Now I'm just going to keep blending the so colors. We want kind of <clears throat> the lid to be a little bit lighter. I'm going back with my matte white and I'm just going to pack the color on. As you can see the white isn't on the full lid right about now because we blended the colors but that's what we want so keep putting the white it's going to be closer to the lash line now. Now you want to take any coal liner, but I'm using the eye coal from MAC called Feline. And you want to line your, um, your water line, but only halfway. Now I'm going in with an angle brush, taking a matte black. And I'm just applying that on top of the waterline and also dragging the color downwards. It's going to create a nice gradient of color. And also it's going to seal our eye coal. Now with that matte black, we're going with our angle brush. And you simply want to press the color into your lash line. Now for the you know lashes, what? I'm not too sure if the models on the runway are wearing any, but I'm simply going to use um, outer corner extensions. Those are the 305s from Ardell's. 
and they're just going to create a little bit more drama without taking anything away from the look. So those are super simple to apply. As you can see, I've already applied this side. And this is also a good reason why um, we applied the um, black shadow at the roots of our lashes. So it kind of acts as a base so the band of the lashes won't show as much. Coat of mascara just to make your natural lashes blend with the false ones. Now as you can see the models in the show, the runway show, um, have a really square jaw and also they're heavily contoured so that's what we're going to attempt. Now I'm going to use this duo, this sculpt and shape duo. Um, this one is called Bone Beige Emphasize and we're going to use that darker so brown. You want to go in the hollow part of your cheek, so right underneath the cheekbone. But before, usually I would create a little rounded shape over here, but instead we're going down. Now for some reason, I don't think it meant that as a contour, but the model that I'm um, actually recreating had some pretty um, structured brows and also they applied kind of a brownish color over here but not on the temple it's actually just over the brow over here so that's what we're going to do now I'm gonna take any fluffy brush this one is a 227 it's pretty dense and I'm going in with that light color over here and I'm going to apply that right underneath the eye so on just above the brow bone the brow bone just above the cheekbone you also want to put some in on the middle of the forehead and right underneath the brow now with a fluffy brush I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit so we're still taking that do over here I'm taking the brown and I'm just going in and contour my nose. Now we're almost done with the look. Now we're gonna go for the signature red lip. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with a lip pencil from MAC called Cherry. As you can see, I already started filling them in, so I've, I'm done with the outlining. Now, as you can see, it's a very true red. Now, I'm going in with the color Cockney, which is a, f which is, um, a red, but it has a little bit of sparkles in it. Um, I can't find my Russian red, but I would definitely recommend a matte lipstick. No shimmer, nothing at all, because that's how the models wear their lipsticks in the show. So just apply that over. Now there's no actual blush in this look, but I really want to emphasize the contouring. So I'm going to go ahead with a blush called Raisin. And I'm still going with a fluffy blush brush. This one is angled. And you want to be gentle with this because it's a blush so it's going to be very pigmented. So I'm just going over the previous and now just to illuminate the eye a little bit this is the very last step I'm going in with white avalanche which is, which is a frosty white from MAC cosmetics I'm going in with a pencil brush and you want to apply that in the tear dot and also on the lower lash line but only the part where there's no dark color so there you have it. This is my Jeremy Scott look taken from the Fall Collection 2009. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!